Hi, this is Lakshmi Chaudhary, the editor and founder of Splina.in. Welcome to our daily news wrap called What the F*** Happened Here? That pretty much sums up what we feel when we watch or read the news. But we are here to make it easier and fun to know what's up at the end of every day. And we do it in less than 10 minutes. So here's what you missed sweltering with heat on a hump day. This is an unhappy time for Indian startups who are no longer the darlings of the corporate world. We now have more confirmation of their bure din. According to Hurin's Unicorn Index, the number of Indian unicorns has declined for the very first time in four years. That startups valued more than a billion dollars. Their numbers have shrunk from 68 to 67. The most valuable Indian unicorns today are Swiggy and Dream 11, both valued at $8 billion. They're ranked 83 in the world. Razorpay comes in second with a valuation of $7.5 billion. But here's what the government may want to think about. Indian founders establish 109 unicorns outside the country, compared to only 67 within. But here's what caught our eye. The single dropout was Baiju's. The $22 billion startup officially lost 95% of its value last month. It was valued by its investor BlackRock at just about a billion dollars. But now Hurun has axed it from their unicorn list. That means its valuation has dropped even further. According to Hurun, no other startup in the world has lost that much value. If you're curious about global rankings, the most valuable unicorn in the world is the $220 billion TikTok, followed by SpaceX at $180 billion and OpenAI at $100 billion. Now, given the AI madness that has gripped VCs everywhere, we're betting OpenAI comes out on top next year. According to a new WHO report, there's a global hepatitis crisis and India is among the worst hit. But first, let's start with a more basic question. What is hepatitis? It's a liver disease caused by a virus which has five strains, A, B, C, D, and E. All of them cause liver damage, but B and C are the worst. They cause liver cirrhosis, liver cancer, and the most deaths. In fact, hepatitis is the second most common cause of death in the world, equal to TB. According to the WHO, India had 35 million cases of Hep B and C in 2022. We came in at number two in the world, right after China, which had 83 million cases. That's 27.5% of all cases in the world. The really bad news is that more people are dying of hepatitis infections. The global number jumped from 1.1 million in 2019 to 1.3 million in 2022. Of these, 83% were caused by hepatitis B and 17% by hepatitis C. Think of it this way, every day 3,500 people die due to hepatitis infections and there are 6,000 new cases each day. More than half of them are between the ages of 30 and 54 and over half are men. So why are the numbers increasing? Because not enough people are getting tested or diagnosed in time. In India, only 2.4% of Hep B cases are diagnosed and 0% receive treatment. Can you imagine that? 0%. The numbers for Hep C are slightly better. 28% are diagnosed and 21% receive treatment. But now here's the real kicker. India makes the cheapest generic drugs to treat hepatitis and tools to diagnose the disease. Amazing. But in happier news for your health, a new study found that swapping out red meat for fish such as herring, sardines and anchovies can prevent 750,000 deaths a year. These are called forage fish and are the most abundant kind of fish in the world and they have the lowest carbon footprint, so eating them is great for the environment as well. Something to think about the next time you're looking at the menu at the restaurant. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the oldest man in the world is a 111-year-old Brit. He got the title this month when the previous record holder, a 114-year-old in Venezuela, passed away. Now we have a new claimant to the throne, Marcelino Abad Tolentino or Mashiko. According to the Peruvian government, he is 124 years old. 
Guinness won't accept his claim without proof, but Peru doesn't care and the government is already celebrating Abad, who, by the way, is in excellent health. Doctors will be unhappy to know that Abad attributes his long life to his love for lamb and coca leaves, red meat and drugs. Well done, Abad. True Caller has been both a boon and a blessing. It saved us from countless spam calls and telemarketers, but the company was also accused of stealing our information to create financial profiles it can sell. So it's a mixed blessing that True Caller will soon be easier to use than ever. The company has unveiled a browser version which works on any laptop, PC or Mac. So you'll no longer need the app. The web iteration also allows you to read and respond to text messages and get real-time incoming call and message alerts. So all the distraction we need when we are trying to get work done on our laptops, to which we say, excellent. We leave you with the inspiring news of a six-legged gazelle found in Israel. The extra legs are likely due to a genetic disorder, but it hasn't held back this male deer. He has three female mates and has fathered a fawn. The best bit is this quote from the local wildlife expert. He has been seen hosting the females in the fields and the extra legs on his back pose no challenge to him. To that we say, well done, sir. That's it for now. Be sure to check out Sprainer's daily edition in the morning. It has all the news you need to know served with a generous dollop of fun. I'll be back with the next edition of What the F*** Happened Here every weekday evening. Be sure to follow us so you don't miss out and I'll see you tomorrow.